So, uh, it feels like it's been a while since I took my last video, um, but actually it's only it's only been like a week, and even a week isn't really that that long. Um, so yeah, I'm updating my blog and my <clears throat> YouTube videos more often than I thought I would originally. So I don't know. I think it's really cool. I think it's a good thing. Um, I don't want to overdo it though, you know, like, you know, think of, you know, what should I put on my blog next or, you know, it should, it should be more of a natural thing. I know that a lot of bloggers, they like to just post about anything or take a video of anything and just put it up on YouTube or whatever, but I don't really like doing that. I don't really think it should be like that or else you're really losing the, you know, well, at least what I think is the, I don't know, I don't know what you'd call it. Let's just say, in a nutshell, you're just overdoing it, and it's, you know, after a while, it just won't be fun anymore. Um, it's just a rush to put up videos as frequently as possible, about as many things as possible. It's not really about quantity, so... Anyways, uh, so today I just wanted to uh, talk about a few things. Before I get into this drink, uh, I want to talk about last weekend. Um, went to the city called Chuncheon to, for the first time, go to a Korean... Um, what do you call it? Sorry, it's, it's like... 9.40 right now, and I was at school until 8, 8.50, just doing some work, extra work, so I'm, I'm kind of tired, but, it's like the simplest, it's a mall, it's a mall, I went to a, a Korean shopping center, that's the word I was looking for, a shopping center for the first time since I came to Korea, and um, I needed to do some serious winter clothing shopping. Because uh, it was starting to get really cold. Um, kind of underestimated the humidity plus um, freezing temperatures and how the combination of that, um, you know, really makes things chilly in the mornings and at night, especially. So, yeah, I went to a Uniqlo, which is originally a Japanese company. They sell clothes and. They're pretty popular in Korea too, so I went to the city of Chuncheon to play basketball with a um, friend that goes to university there. Um, he takes engineering. I played basketball with him and his buddies, and then he was nice enough to show me around a little bit and to the, uh, the shopping center. Um, I've been wanting to go for a while, but plans kept falling through, so I really, really wanted to go this time. So I finally got some. A uh, nice jacket that keeps me warm. Um, just like this shirt. It's called Heat Tech. Heat Tech is pretty popular. Um, it's affordable and it's just really good material that keeps you warm and keeps you dry. So I'm um, pretty happy with what I got. Yeah. <clears throat> Anyways, so on to this drink here. Now my idea of trying new things, I'm always open to it. But it's, you know, it's always with a balance. Like, how much money are you willing to spend at a grocery store to try something that you've never even tasted before? Most people wouldn't even touch something that they don't even know. Um, this happened to be on the sale rack. And the reason why I got it was because it said ginseng on it. Now, <coughs> as you can see, I've had this cough for quite some time. Now, a lot of you would probably be thinking, yeah, you're being kind of dumb, why don't you just go to a doctor? I just don't feel the need to take medication, and that's pretty much what's going to happen. They're going to give me medication. Um, I don't really feel the need to take medication for something so trivial, in my opinion. Um, and so yeah, I saw, I saw the, the word ginseng caught my eye. Uh, this is what it looks like. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see. Focusing. Let's focus. Okay, well, it says Korean red ginseng drink. Now, 
there's four of them in a package like this in a little plastic wrap. The company's called Gum Ho. Gum Ho. Oh, come on. You can autofocus that. Yeah. There you go. Gum Ho. Okay. So, it was a it was a thousand won, which is less than a dollar. So I figured it's just a dollar, right? That's where the whole balancing comes in. How much are you willing to spend? Um, well, if this is something that'll help my my coughing and whatnot, then it'd be worth it. Or if it's just really, really, really terrible, I mean, I won't really know until a few days of trying this. I'm not going to waste it. I'm going to drink all of it. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it would be totally have been worth the investment. So anyways, I'm going to try it for the first time. Uh, see how it goes. I really hope this is tastes decent. Before I say anything, Just waiting for because sometimes these kinds of drinks have um, health drinks have like an aftertaste to it. So I was waiting for it because I was gonna say it's not that bad. But then you know if something hit me after, I was gonna do a complete 180. So this sucks. It tastes so bad, but actually it's not bad at all. I, I thought it, the the flavor would be a little stronger. Actually tastes a lot better than the other ginseng drinks that I've had, but that being said, it was a thousand won, four of them, so less than twenty-five cents for each one. You know, so it must be like one of the cheaper brands, but it was on sale. Like it's not always that price, but even then, it's probably like two two thousand won, so it's not that big of a difference. feel burning in my stomach. Not burning actually, it's just a little bit of warmth. I don't know if my stomach's telling me <laughs> if, if it's re completely rejecting it or, <laughs> or if it's like, that's just how it is. I don't know, I don't remember Jin saying creating warmth in the bottom of my stomach. We'll see how it goes. Anyways.